And here we go again, just for the fun of it. Um, oh, let's see what's happening. Let's have a look on the on the chat and see what we did. Right. Uh, right. But as a post lady, Dad, why don't we talk anymore? Play music once again. That leaves me. Okay. Oh dear. That's um. That was so sad, so sad, that is. Really sad. Uh, Dewey's hosting me for three viewers. Thank you very much. And, uh, yay, new follower. And Amelia. Thank you very much for the follow. Although I wasn't here to uh, receive the follow. What a shame, because we could have heard the music. But never mind. Thank you very much for following anyway. Jubas, uh, very welcome to the stream this afternoon. I hope, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Uh, what else have we got? Welcome back to England. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Hannah. And uh, so how am I doing? I'm doing, yeah, very well, actually. It's um, It's gone well. Apart from, I'm, I, I just, you know, I can't keep a track of kids. They keep, uh, keep running out on me when I suggest, you know, man-to-man -man conversations or man-to-girl conversations, whatever it is, I don't know, I get accused, so, oh, I just cannot, uh, I can't win anyway, so, uh, Dan Room, uh, hi, thank you very much for hanging around, hope you'll have a chance to get a cup of tea or coffee or uh, whiskey, vodka, depending what type place of the world you're in, isn't it, really, um, so, there we go, I think I'm up to date, uh, Amelia, I'm wondering what part of the world you're from, um, America, New Jersey or somewhere like that, you know. Uh, yeah, interesting stuff. So here is... Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. That caught me, right? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, right, we'll start again this time without the choking bit. Yeah, we've got Liberty here just in the same position she was half an hour ago. In fact, 40 minutes ago now. Good heavens, that took a bit longer. There was... Uh, Typical with this um, part of the world I live in, um, about uh, 200 meters from the the uh, seaside. So, uh, uh, because we've got a blue flag beach, we get a lot of visitors just turn up. And the roads between here and the uh, the sort of first town out of here get pretty well compact, you know. Uh, you got Yorkshire tea. By gum, you can't beat a cup of Yorkshire tea. We use Tetley's ourselves, or PG Tips, whichever is the most um, economical to purchase. Don't mind either of the two. You can get some of them which are really ridiculous. So, uh, um, some of them I just don't like the taste. Tried Tesco tea bags once. Mm. Not my cup of tea. <laughs> Not my cup of tea, exactly. Not my cup of tea. So we'll set things in motion again and let uh, Liberty carry on uh, spraying these plants. We seem to have this outbreak of um, bugs that seem to be devastating the harvest. Uh, be right back. <coughs> PG tips are amazing. Yep, see, a lot of support there for the old PG tips. Little monkeys. The little monkeys. You've got to get something from the fridge. Um, I wonder if it's in a little uh, six inch tall can. Maybe, this time of the day. Why not? Yeah. If you finish work and you're knocked off, why not enjoy a beer? Or a lemonade, whatever. <laughs> it could be a brandy, you never know. Put it on ice for later, honey. There we go. So, good. Right, we have Liberty here. Is, uh, we've had this outbreak of uh, bugs on the plants. The gardener came and did his bit, but he's pretty pathetic because they, uh, we've still got bugs. You know, one does question, as uh, Twiglet suggested earlier on, that we sack him and do the job ourselves, but uh, he does weed the plants, he does water the plants, so I guess he's got to be worth 230 simoleons a day for his uh, trouble. Um, anyway, she could actually nip round. It's not that long since we did a harvest, but she could nip round and do another harvest, couldn't she? One, two, three, should I? Dear, oh dear, should I really? What's them? Those are, those are plants. Right, come on, let's uh, let's do this. Let's harvest everything. You just finish killing bugs first. We'll harvest everything. And I'll sit back and relax and just watch the money roll in. And the money kept rolling in from all directions. 
Today, cup of tea. Should have a water fetcher in the garden. Um, you should have a water fetcher in the garden. I don't know what a water fetcher is. Pud migrants. Um, Dan room. I'm wondering if you mean a, a sprinkler that we call a sprinkler, something you place in the garden. Certainly in Sims 2 and Sims 3. We had sprinklers we could put in the garden and they would uh, keep everything watered. Um, they didn't make it available in Sims 4, as far as I know. A wishing well as well. We could do a wishing well. Um, and what wish for more money, Twiglet? Yeah, that's... Um, oh, okay. Oh, that's Bill's wages coming home there. It was 400 and some odd simoleons. 459 simoleons. Ooh. Easy money. Poor chaps had to work really hard for that. Anyway, Bill, you can go on the computer. Ooh, go on the computer as soon as you're coming from work. Do the programming bit because you've got something to achieve here by programming. Programming. Not started. Okay. Poor chap comes in from work and then he's got to go back to work at home. How many of us have had to do that? Don't answer that question. A wishing well. I don't know. We could do a wishing well, I suppose. Uh, but that could... Okay, we'll give it a... Ch oh, I don't know if I want to do this. Am I forced? Am I forced to do a wishing well? Are the bullies ganging up on me out there? Hmm... That'll be the one then. Good lord, how much money? This... I have this feeling of impending doom. <laughs> I can't, what do you mean, don't have to? You wouldn't speak to me for a week if I didn't. So, I have to. It's... Um, it's a necessary thing now, when people request it. Okay, Liberty, come on. What are you going to wish for, then? Make a wish. Youth for vigour, wish for skills, wish for simoleons. Wish for happiness. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll wish for simoleons. Maybe it's greed. Because I think they all cover the, base, uh, the basic seven deadly sins, don't they, at the end of the day. So we're going we're gonna to lust after money when she gets round to it. We have a bit of time to change our mind. Maybe we'll get a lot of uh, simoleons. Maybe we won't, of course. It's already cost us 7,000, so anything above that would be profit, in which case we don't do it again. Uh, now you got me worried. Uh, Junebug Zero, hello, welcome back. Um, wonder how you are today? How's things going? Give you a second to answer that while I part taking some tea. Mm. Ouch. While I part taking some hot tea. Slurpy slurp. That's really a bit too hot just at the moment. I'll have to go back to that in a minute or two. Which is alright as long as I don't forget. Right, I was going to do something now and I can't remember what it was with. I think we were going to splice plants together, actually. Strawberry bush. Those are already spices. Dragon fruit, dragon fruit, dragon fruit. And that's already spliced. Okay, let's put... Um, I'm going to start by p 
footing um, this chrysanthemum with um, the sage. We'll graft that onto there. See how that goes. Uh, we can s oh, I think we want to keep three of them for some reason. I think it was um, there was three short in the row or something, was it? Ba da 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 da. Do 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 do. Maybe we replace them. Oh my God, the memory is failing. Strawberries. That's what we need. A strawberry. Right at the end. There's only. Uh, four in the row there and we generally have five so we'll put another strawberry down there sell the rest right. snapdragons let's see how much we get for the snapdragons 700 that's pretty cool thousand for them and 36, okay. Well, you can't win them all. They're doing good nonetheless. Uh, dragon fruit. These have got to be worth a penny or two, haven't they? Yeah, a thousand. Bill, you went out and earned 450, whatever it was. We're getting that off one lot of plants alone. Yeah, that's the way to go. Doing it, yeah? Right, uh, yep, and uh, Junebug, yeah, we said hello, we're up to date again, that's good news. Good news indeed. And Liberty, as usual, spending all evening in the garden, just uh, pottering with the plants and doing what she thinks uh, necessary. She's going to go and have a wish in the well in a minute, I think. Four hundred and eighty off the cherries is better than nothing at all as well. Oh, here we go. Inspired. Full of some money. I don't understand it. Oh dear, maybe, maybe it is. Right, with great knowledge comes great power, and the wishing well just bestowed a particularly juicy morsel to Liberty's mind. It would be quite lucrative to blackmail another sim in exchange for Liberty's silence. Is it worth making an enemy in exchange for a pocket full of simoleons? No, I don't think so. Oh well, there's um, there's a failed wish, if anything was. So never mind. That is it. We tried it. It failed. I'll get Bill to do a similar wish later on. But um, yeah, it didn't help us a whole lot, did it? So we've earned quite a bit of money off that um, off the garden. Maybe not 7,000 in a hurry, but, you know, hey. Another half a week's work or something like that, and we'll be back up to date again. And I notice this half of the garden again is requiring some... Uh, uh, needs to be evolved, I should say. So, that's good. Let's see what she's up to. Starvation is what she's up to. Um... Oh, and a dead fridge as well. How absolutely spiffing. What's this? Thank What's this? What's this? Thank you for becoming my friend. A kinfen wah. And so it goes. The A's just tumble off the edge of the screen. That's a nice long name, isn't it? In World of Warcraft, you'd never hide behind a tree, would you? Not with a name like that. Eh? 
Wicked stuff. Thank you for the follow anyway. Um, don't mind me picking faults and stuff. It's um, very kind of you to follow me. But uh, awfully long name. I think your finger might have got stuck. You're resting it, resting it on the A key. What more can I say? It's welcome anyway. <laughs> shouldn't laugh. Shouldn't laugh. People might have thought about that for a long time. Which is really cool. So I wonder where you're from, uh, a kinfen. I'm not going to say all them A's. It'd sound like a machine gun going off, wouldn't I? <laughs> Maybe not, okay. Jump, jump! So. Uh, sorry, Dan Room, I missed your question there. Do I like my tea milky or just uh, right? I like milky tea. I like it just... I like milk in the tea, but I, li I don't like it to be over milky, you know. Um, some people make it and they put uh, five seconds on the tea bag and two gallons of milk in it, you know, and that, that, that to me, you might as well just have hot milk. But uh, yeah, I enjoy my milky tea. Um, stronger tea rather than the uh, weak variety for me. So when you make us a cup, you know, it's done. And I don't take sugar, I take sweetener instead. But the sweeter mustn't be aspartame because I can't take aspartame. It's poison. Horrible, nasty stuff. Made from the feces of the E. coli vi uh, virus, in case you didn't know. Yeah. So, uh, I haven't got anything else to answer there because I missed that one way back. Did you get your uh, whatever it was from the fridge, Jubas? Are you sitting enjoying a good can of lager or a can of beer or is it just a fizzy pop? I don't know. I don't know what you do. Only way I know is if you tell me. Only one sugar. Yeah, okay. I used to have uh, one and a half sugars when I used to take sugar. But then they told me I, would, I was diabetic, type 2 diabetic, so I had to stop having sugar altogether pretty much. I haven't, but you know. I, oh, I've got hiccups now. I uh, control what I have. Uh, but the best thing I have is uh, I have sucralose sweetener, um, which is a pretty much inert type of chemical, if you like, to put in your tea. It tastes just like sugar. There's no chemical aftertaste either, unlike some other ones. Saccharin gives you a horrible taste. Um, now I must admit, I don't really enjoy saccharin that much. That's a bit of a cheek, isn't it? It's four o'clock in the morning. She jumped into her mum's, into her son's bed. Maybe frightened of disturbing Bill. I don't think she should be, because if the little one needs to go to sleep, then uh, yeah, that would be fair to do, wouldn't it? Eh? Come on, Ben. It's early in the morning. You should try to sleep some more. Yeah. I know you don't need it, but, you know. What's the matter with Bill now? Have they fallen out or something? They're not told me. Or maybe I just misclicked. Veruna Floba! Veruna Floba! You know, I had one of them. The wheel fell off and it was useless, pretty much. What? Go and get a shower, man. Stop being ridiculous. So everybody's sleeping, apart from Bill, who now decides to take a shower at five o'clock in the morning. So, seven viewers, okay. That's, um, that gets right to the mark, that does. <coughs> How many brandies did you put in that tea? <laughs> hey. hey, that'll keep winter at bay for at least another five years. I just, I, I don't really have brandy in my tea. I have tea in my brandy. <laughs> I shouldn't, should I? So, yeah, have you have you been onto that stream of that alcoholic one? <laughs> okay, who's going to clean the mess up? Somebody fixed the fridge. 
and the mess is sitting on the lawn. Growing roots, I shouldn't wonder. So, Bill, come on, hurry up, boy. <coughs> You're making Yorkshire tea at the moment. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, you, you'd be uh, you'd be castigated, wouldn't you, for making any, any other type of tea in Yorkshire if you're in Sheffield. Hey, they'll make a proper cup of tea out of Yorkshire tea bags, so they needn't bother. Now just get this in into the kitchen. Get a cup of tea made. Aye. <laughs> So here comes Bill to clean up the rubbish. Daybreak has broken, or the day has broken. Morning has broken, just like the first morning. Oh, oh come on, chap. The reason he's not picking it up is because I set, um, I set Liberty to clean it up accidentally. That's quite bad. Here comes Little Lint. Where are you going, little Lou? Lou? Wouldn't be surprised. Oh, he's still inspired, though. Has he done his homework from yesterday? Nope. There's some more inspiration for you, then, young man. Do your homework. They'll probably call you Smelly at school now. Here comes Smelly Gates. Oh right, you use uh, I use semi-skimmed milk um, because I have too much weight. Um, you've got to keep your weight up, you say. That's um, <laughs> for me. That is not a difficult task. If I uh, if I look at um, food, um, I can feel the belt, the waistline expanding rapidly. So I have to be just a bit careful. But as I said, you know, diabetic, so one has to constantly watch uh, what goes over the lips. It's the old saying, isn't it, that lady dieters used to have, you know, um, a minute on the lips is a pound on the hips or something like that. But uh, yeah, we're on uh, uh, semi-skimmed, semi semi-skilled, semi-skimmed milk. Um, so... Uh, used to have full cream milk. In fact, um, nice little story that we'd, um, we used to buy uh, some local cheese at a, a butcher shop nearby. Um, they used to sell in there and we, we found out by looking at the uh, the website and everything that the, uh, the poacher, Lincolnshire poacher cheese, was in fact available just about six miles um, out of town. So, um, we started. We went there and and bought our cheese there, and I found out that they actually sold um, milk fresh from the cow under special license. So it had not been treated. There's no treatment on it, no milk extract or any anything extracted from the cow into the cooler into the bottle. Simple as that. And it's absolutely gorgeous stuff. It's a little bit pricey. It's one pound fifty per liter. Was it a liter or two liters? One one fifty two liters, wasn't it? Yeah, because litres that big, two litres, well, whatever. It's, it costs, I used to buy two two um, packets of it, packets, packets of milk, uh, cartons of milk, and, uh, wow, you need to, uh, seven stone, yeah. And I, I, I would assume you're not one of these people that think, oh, I can eat, I can eat cream cakes and that all the time. I don't think you actually put on a lot of weight with cream cakes and that sort of thing, is it? Oh. It's more, um, more dairy produce and, uh, and regular meals, of course, which help. Yeah, I would hate to be in that position. I mean, it's bad enough being uh, a little bit overweight. Uh, they call it obese, but I don't feel obese. I feel fat, but I don't feel obese. Um, it's it's hard keeping weight off, um, but to put it on, um, that's got to be quite difficult, actually, if you intend, if you go out specifically to put weight on. Um, that's got to be quite a challenge, actually. Um, do you, uh, maybe I shouldn't ask this. I'll ask it, and if you don't want to answer, that's fair comment. But uh, do you have a medical reason for um, being slightly underweight, or is it uh, you just don't enjoy food? I mean, some people like that. I know as a, a 
friend I had a few years ago um, had what was it called nervosa thingy bob I can't remember what it is but um, he suffered from that anorexia anorexia that's it and uh, they couldn't really help it they they just didn't didn't like food basically um, didn't like the feeling of food inside them and when they took any they felt probably 20 pounds bigger than what they actually were so uh, that was quite difficult I think they're over it now they seem to be over it now and they put the weight back on and everything's fine but um, you know it's uh, if you have nothing like that and it's just um, purely um, you don't put weight on you know there are some people like that my dad was like that he uh, he would never put he he was the same weight all my life I think you know he um, he didn't put weight on he could eat anything he could eat you put a meal in front of him done what it was he'd clear the plate wouldn't leave anything and when he went on the scales he's always the same weight afterwards so um, I obviously take after my mother who was uh, a large lady that was polite wasn't it big 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 large lady so yeah okay so I wonder if anyone else has got any weight problems they care to air on you know in front of the world audience of course you would everybody would want to do that wouldn't they so spray for bugs where's that gardener he's watering plants and there's bugs around again can't win oh here we go had lots of operations he just had a big operation didn't have a jaw or cheekbones when I was born that way. Ah uh, oh dear, that's um that's lumping the throat stuff, isn't it? Eh? You had lots of operations and just had one big operation. You didn't have a jawbone or cheekbones. Uh, and I was born that way. Now I've got a jawbone and a cheek, so I look better. But I eat and eat and eat, but never put it put weight on though. Yeah. It's um Man, that is not uh, that's not to be taken lightly, is it? That's quite quite dramatic. That um, I I trust I trust now that you had the operations that uh, you are doing well and, and things will improve. You know, this is um, the old hope for the future thing. You know, we do things today, then hopefully in the future uh, things will get remarkably better. And let's hope it is the same. That is the scenario. Um, I can't imagine, uh, and forgive me, but I can't imagine not having a jaw or a cheekbone or that type of thing. Um, and it's got to be very hard. I don't mean that. I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just uh, I cannot, under any way, envisage not having a jawbone, for example. I mean, I've been to the dentist a few times, lost quite a few teeth over the years, um, left them lying around. You know, no, sorry, um, but I lost a lot of uh, teeth and. I know what it's like to have your jaw frozen so you can't feel it. So I know what it's like not to be able to feel your jaw. But we're talking for a period of maybe two hours. Um, to go through your life not having a jaw, that has got to be quite terrible, really. Um, have you? Do, do you have um, liquidized food as an adult, or, or is it um, purely a liquid? Uh, diet that you've been on up up until now. I suppose getting to use your jaw as well. That's got to be quite a, a feat. We were talking earlier on about learning new languages and that sort of thing. It's uh, uh, people. Yeah, people will find it interesting. Of course they will. Uh, ah, it's getting better. That that's the important thing. Is it is getting better because uh, you know the you hear some people in hospitals who uh, have operations and they say well there's a 50 50 chance it may get better it may not get better it might get worse you know and they bounce this off you just normal food okay um, it's uh, oh wow it's yeah I, I, I don't think that is just forgive me and I don't mean this in a bad way that's just, that's the stuff of horror films isn't it um, the stuff that you sort of you would never imagine as being anything that you could um, 
You can do build notices that a new co-worker has introduced a huge bug. Does he tell the feature producer or keep it quiet and fix it? Well, no, turn him in because he might affect the rest of the work and blame it on you. So he's only got a small performance game, but I think that's the right thing to do. <coughs> so, well, good luck to you, Dan. Dan Broom? Is that Dan Room? Um, I hope you have a, a fast, speedy recovery and that, um, that you know, you, things can be normalised, if you like. Um, I know that something like that, you're never ever normal again, are you? You're never normal, especially if you're born like that. Um, you're never normal, but um, you know that and, you know, people around you, your family and your mum and dad and all that, they know that. Um, but other people don't, and, and if they don't know it, then they don't need to know it, do they? It's, um, my heart goes here, really does. Jubas, you're back. Did I miss something? Yes, you did. But I'm not going to tell you what it is, because you missed it. <laughs> That's fair, isn't it? Now, we're just um, discussing Dan, who's um, he's one of these people that doesn't put weight on, so uh, uh, we're just... Um, Finding out why and that sort of thing, which is quite a sad story, but uh, nonetheless, hopefully it's got a happy ending. Good happy ending. Alexandra T, a bit like you mentioned with your father. Eat any. Never gain any. Yeah, that's, um, that's interesting, Alexandra. It's, uh, my, my dad, he, um, he had something happen in the war. Um... I can't. I don't. He never, never spoke about it much. It was a horror story in his life, and so he wouldn't share it with us very much. Uh, but he did have to have a, part of his stomach removed. Um, but they said that would affect him short term, not long term. Uh, but he, I, I saw him when he used to. He used to be a smoker, and then he decided uh, around about 1968 that he would give up smoking, and he went out and he bought uh, sweets, sugar sweets. Um, and he used to leave packets of them lying around everywhere. And he would p finish maybe a large packet of sweets a day. And uh, he wouldn't put on an ounce of weight. <coughs> he could eat from morning through to night time and wouldn't put on weight at all. Yet my mum, who uh, was the total opposite, you know, if she looked at food the wrong way, um, you'd, you'd see her waistline expanding just in retaliation to what you've just seen, you know. Um, oh. So it, it's it's amazing. Um, I'm a bit like my mum. I, I tend to put weight on very quick and very easy. And uh, However, my wife is the other way around. She's uh, she's a skinny rake, aren't you? Hey, eh? Oh, she's smiling at me. Oh, say the sweetest things. Put the stick down now. Now, you're not allowed to keep beating me, especially now. <gasps> dear, oh dear. Dewey, good afternoon. <laughs> Um, I suppose, Alexander, I mean, a, a lot of the, I don't know how old you are, nor, nor would I presume to ask or anything like that. Um, but I think a lot of a lot of stuff that we come across um, in our younger years, sort of from, I don't know, um, early teens right up to your sort of mid to late 20s, um, it's a very, very deciding time in your life where you decide what foods you like. Obviously, as a kid, you, uh, you're you told what to eat and, uh, you know, eat your greens, come on, get them. You've got to finish your greens or you don't get any pudding. How many times have I heard that? It's, um, it's an old bad record, but, uh, you know, as you grow into adulthood and you realise the benefits of certain foods and the disadvantages of other foods, then you, you have to toe the line and be, behave yourself. Now, I, I, I had a job as well... Um, Okay, I'm going back 20 years, uh, and I was extremely fit. We used to, I used to have a job that would take me running up and down maybe 40 or 50 flights of stairs uh, during the course of one of my shifts. Um, and because of that, I would eat, I would take to work some sandwiches in a box. I would take some crisps in a box and a bit of fruit, uh, apple, banana, orange, or something like that. And also, I'd take a fruit cake. And I'm not talking a slice of fruit cake. I'm talking the whole thing. Um, probably a good pound, pound in weight, maybe one and a half pound in weight, and I would eat that during the course of the shift. Now, because I was burning the energy off, it would, um, 
it, because I was burning the energy off, it would uh, it wouldn't matter because I never used to put any weight on at all, never used to lose any either for that matter. But uh, had a healthy appetite. Um, I used to ride to work on a, a bicycle, um, which again, you know, keeping fit and that sort of thing. Um, so I'd have exercise first thing, then I'd have a good breakfast, then I'd uh, have my lunch, which was my sandwiches and stuff, then I'd come back in night time and have a cooked meal at night time. So um, as a 21 year old, um, yeah, I would say you're sort of in that period of deciding the best foods for you and uh, maybe understanding your body more than you perhaps did do as a, as a teenager and an early teen. Um, you know what food you like and what food you um, know does you good and which ones you can't have. Um, I mean, now I, w I, I don't look at fruitcake. I'd love to, I would absolutely destroy a shop front just to get my hands on a fruitcake, you know? But it, it would be suicidal to do that. So you know, I just don't do that. Um, when I do get offered a piece of cake, if somebody says, oh, we've got a bit of fruit cake, would you like a slice? I'll say, yes, but can you make it a small piece, please? And so you go on. But I wasn't always like that. I mean, as a kid, you, man, you could, you could, you get a shovel, you know, a size 10 shovel and, and a wheelbarrow, fill it with food and just open my mouth, you know, and empty the barrow into it. Because that's, that's what I used to eat. Anything and everything as quickly as I could as well. Um, and maybe that's the reason I'm sort of suffering now that, you know, I'm diabetic, type 2 diabetic, I weigh risen with stone, and um, that was it, you know, a bit, uh, bit bigger than I really ought to be. Um, but, you know, um, am I happy? Am I content? Yeah, I guess so. I guess I am happy and I'm content. Uh, food wise, hmm. <sighs> Yeah, food-wise, it's, it's a difficult one. I, I enjoy eating food. That's the sad thing. I can go to the cupboard and maybe make a cheese sandwich in the evening. Um, but that would become then an extra meal, which isn't a good thing, I don't think. Um, you have your three square meals or four square meals in some people's cases. Um, I certainly have a good breakfast. I have a good lunch. And then we have dinner um, sort of between six and seven in the evening. Um, then the next meal is a million miles away, isn't it? You know, it's next morning. I've got to go to sleep first before I'm entitled to another meal. So I break that up by having a, a sandwich and a bag of crisps or something in the evening, which uh, is is probably bad for me, if the truth told, be told. But as long as my sugar levels remain fairly constant, um, that's all I seem to have to worry about for the time being. Eventually, obviously, any diabetic will tell you, uh, the weight has to come off or else uh, could lead to long-term complications. However, I, uh, I I rest my case on that one because of Dan Room there, who's uh, very kindly sort of confided in us his um, problems we have. Um, you don't realise how lucky you are. I, could, I can sit and chew food and I can get through a pork pie and a cheese sandwich and all the rest of it, even eat a full salad, you know, the crunchy bits as well not a problem but when you, you consider that people are out there and around who don't have the jawbone or a cheekbone try to imagine eating a meal like that that pulls it all back into perspective doesn't it so anyway that's uh, that's a little bit of a story and a half isn't it but um, I, th I think with most things that um, if you feel uh, certainly on diet and, and that sort of thing. If you feel you have a problem, be it putting weight on, taking weight off, um, or just remaining the same, you know, I think anybody who's got anything like that should go and see a, a, a dietitian or even a doctor, you know, if you can lay hands on a doctor these days, um, you should see them. And Alexandra, it's kind of embarrassing how little I know about diabetes. I work with food, so I feel I should know a little bit more about it. All uh, right, uh, I'll give you a quick overview. Um, I won't, I'll give you a website to go to. There you go. And this is my website, so it's not... Um, uh, Base.com um, I can't remember what the full... If, if I just put hallbase.com, H-A-L-L-B-A-S-E.com, um, 
when you click on the diabetes um, tab on that website that will uh, that will tell you my experiences and everything I know about um, diabetes as a diabetic. It also showed typical readings that I have. Uh, my blood sugar is taken every morning, sometimes twice a day, some mainly once a day, but sometimes twice a day. And I have to monitor blood pressures because I've got high blood pressure as well. So um, if you want to know my medical history, including my heart attack, go to the website and have a little read. Um, but yeah, have a look through it. And, you know, if it helps somebody understand the... Um, I'm told it's not a disease. I was going to say, understand the disease. It's not. It's not a disease. My nurses tell me it's not a disease. It is a... What's the word they use? A condition. That's it, a condition. To me, a pregnant woman has got a condition. I'm not a woman, I'm not pregnant, but I've got a condition, and the condition is diabetes, for what it's worth. Um, is it life-changing? No, it's diet-changing, certainly. Diabetes can kill you, if you're stupid with it. Um, I, have, uh, I have a whole load of... Um, I have a load of drugs. I'll, I'll show you that. There you go. That's that's my weekly intake of drugs that I have to uh, have. The sort of five in that uh, five first thing. Then there's a a soluble aspirin. That's obviously for the heart condition. Then there's diabetes pills and blood pressure pills, which go on pretty much throughout the day. So uh, yeah, they're all laid out. It's a full box at the moment because I laid it out just before I started streaming. Um, doesn't need to be life changing though. I think, in all honesty, that um, most things like diabetes and other uh, ingestion difficulties people have, um, they're all curable nowadays. And most of them are not maybe curable, but controllable might be a better word to use. Um, I never felt as though I did have diabetes. Um, my wife was watching a program on the television one evening while I was fixing the computer at the table and uh, it was You Are What You Eat by, I don't know the name of the woman um, but uh, she was going through a list of things one day on a show and she said Gillian uh, McKeith, that was the name of the lady and she was going through this list of things that, um, you know maybe wise to go and see a doctor about and she said, oh, if you've got this, and if you've got this, you need to go and see a doctor. And oh, if you've got this, you need to go and see a doctor. And if you've got this, and if you've got this, and if you've got this. And so the list went on. And I'm sitting there fixing away at this computer on the table. I'm thinking, got that, got that, got, I got a full house. Hey, do I get a prize? And uh, yeah, I did get a prize. I, got, I went to see the doctor the next day because I was quite worried about getting all the boxes. And uh, my doctor said, right, we'll take some blood out of your arm and uh, we'll have it analysed and told her with the other symptoms I get very itchy you know sort of eh, 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 old flea body that's the way I used to look upon it and um, used to be very itchy and very fidgety as well fidgety is fidget if you watch somebody and they're fidgeting and they can't sit still and their legs are bouncing around and and they're twitching and scratching and and you know if they've got a bit of weight as well um, you could pretty much from that symptom alone, guess that they may have diabetes. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it's only diet type 2. Um, never got to the stage where I was injecting insulin. Um, I did have uh, one lot of drugs that I was taking, which were about £100 a month, uh, that I had to inject into my belly. It was called uh, Bieta. And it was very good, very good. It sort of held it down for a while until my body got used to it. Then my body said, "Don't need that. Don't. It won't let it work because we have controlled it." So I end up going back onto some other drug and um, weird and weird and weird stuff. Words I, I mean, words in the vocabulary in the medical dictionary that um, I never thought I'd ever be able to pronounce. You know, but yeah, I can pronounce them now. Um, my grandpa is always moving some way and it drives my grandma crazy, yeah. Uh, Dad bought me an Apple MacBook Pro. Oh, wow, Dan, that, that is some... That is uh, quite a good... That's that's quite a nice little gift, isn't it? But um, I, I'm on your dad's side. I, I think, you know, 
pat you on the back and s tell you brilliant that you've done that that you've got through that um, could I ask how old you are as well do you mind Dan sorry oh was that Dan that said that oh it was yes sorry Dan I missed that line ah right okay I do apologize you, you did tell me uh, right Dan broke apple map that that is awesome yeah that is the least you deserve for, for getting through something like that and and I'm sure things you know as you've rightly said in the in the chat there that it will get better it's um, you know you get the stage in your life where um, <laughs> what did, wow 111 is that 111 you're trying to tell us there Casey Lane, the only problem is my family, a heart problem. Well, we we could we could sit here a lot of the. I mean, heart problems. I I would have said twelve months ago, I'd have sat here and said to you all, "Oh, I've got nothing wrong with me. I'm I'm all right. I've got no heart problems or anything like that." And I was here one day and I was playing uh, Trove on the computer. Trove, it's a good game, and we the whole family we, we were into that in a big way. Thrones and nineteen pound. Right. Okay, that's um I don't know what thrones are, believe it or not. Nineteen pound. Eh? Could it could be a thousand, yeah. No. Right, okay. Um yes, just back to what I was saying there that um I would have said I wouldn't have a heart in this time I was sitting there I was plain drove and as I was sort of coming to the end and, and packing in I just sort of felt this old, this most peculiar sensation on my chest and it wasn't pain that was the annoying well the annoying thing that was a blessing really it wasn't pain um, but it was the most peculiar sensation and it worried me a lot and I couldn't catch my breath my breath was short and um, my wife said, oh, I'm not happy, so she rang the, uh, an emergency number, 1101 or 111, whatever it was, and uh, asked for advice, and they sent an ambulance for me and whipped me away to hospital and said, we don't think you've had a heart attack, but we're not prepared to say you haven't. So that was me set up for the, uh, for the rest of the day in hospital. Um, that was on a Saturday afternoon, and then on the Sunday morning at 3 o'clock, I had the most excruciating pain go through my chest um, if somebody got a red hot poker and shoved it into my rib cage it wouldn't have hurt any more than what I was suffering at that particular time and it turns out that was um, my heart saying I need a break or give me a day off or something so uh, uh, that was me sorted out now fortunately I was in hospital when that happened so uh, I'm supposed to be playing Sims <laughs> Um, I was in hospital when that happened, so I was in the right place, so I was on all sorts of drugs to keep me going for an hour or two, and then I got better, and that's it, and I, I, I haven't looked back. Mona Corbo, start from Zena. Uh. Steve Charso, Denoy. Doby. Flagisi. Ah, Defoino. One, one, one. That was it. That was the number. Okay. Yeah, that's coincidental that uh, Dan, Dan Room there has put one, one, one. Or one point one one nine pound. Um, yeah, it's um, that that is some uh, some problem. And uh, welcome, Casey Lynn. By the way, I know I, I missed you coming online there, but uh, it's always good to see you. As you know. Um, okay, one one one. Um, fortunately, Deb knew it. The wife knew it because she knew what to to type. Um, alas, that was it. Um, it's quite a, quite a funny episode. Because um, when we rang up the, um, okay, Excuse oh she's got up out of bed and she's um, sleeping on the sofa, why would she do that? I thought that was quite a good bed we bought her, <laughs> maybe we bought the settee which was too good, so uh, don't worry about it, uh, Dan. Um, that's uh, that's really cool. And Epic Studio, wow. Um, yeah, I haven't seen you for a day or two, that's for sure. Uh, I'm very well, thank you very much. Um, 
It's uh, we're just running over um, people's. I won't say illnesses, but um, problems that people have, medical problems that people have, are, uh, uh, it's quite amazing because you never get to hear about them until um, such as Dan there has just opened up and told us all the little problems, little tiny, just little problems he's had, uh, surviving without a jawbone and a cheekbone, which, um, <laughs> yeah, that's going to take some doing, but uh, hopefully we, we, we look on these things in a positive manner, and I think... Um, the outcome has got to be a positive thing. But I, I really do, and I'm not just saying this, but uh, Dan, I really take my hat off to you, and I think it's um, it's awesome the way you're sort of talking about it openly. It's um, it's wicked. Well done. So, there we are. And, uh, yeah, so I've, I've had heart problems. Back to what Casey then said. Their um, heart problems are not... Uh, they're not fun and games. Fortunately, I didn't have any blockages in my heart. I was given a, a an angiogram, which is where they shove a, a tube up your arm and follow the vein round into the heart and have a good pokey pokey. Let's have a looky into your heart. And they said, uh, all my tubes are nice and clear, can, and which amazed me because I... Uh, uh, yeah, I, um, I smoked for uh, 30 years of my life, which was... Uh, Pretty not good, not good at all. Can you make a baby challenge? Um, we have that on the agenda, um, but we have a lot of little stories going on at the moment, um, Amelia. Um, but that that is certainly one we're going to look into in the near future. Um, we've got the Bill Gates one currently. Uh, what we're doing, trying to make him a million simoleons, and we would indeed hurry up and get a million simoleons if I'd stop nattering to people and talking to them. Uh, but that's what um, that's what I like doing on my stream is chatting and and chilling about it really. But a uh, hundred babies, ah, yeah, we can do that one day. Um, there's also the generation thing where we have to go ten generations. I like to do that one. That's another one that's on the little list of things to do and what was the other one we had there was another challenge that we had uh, generation one the baby challenge and there was a third one there that i was going to do and i can't remember what it is i have it written down on a piece of paper somewhere so uh, we we will address them in days weeks months years to come whatever we, we will attack it uh currently we have just to fill you in on the story um Check if everyone's going okay. Uh, I don't care if it's settling. Okay. Um, yeah, just to bring you up on the story, we have Bill Gates here who lost his money in no easy method. He lost it all. He lent it to me and I bet it on a snail race and he lost it all. So I promised him we will get him a million simoleons back at least so that he can start a fortune again. And this is where we've got to. We've got up to 300,000. And it's going pretty cool because we have a nice garden. And it's all full of nice stuff, including bugs. When's Bill going to go to work? I think it's three days. Yeah, I was right. And he's not even started his, um, his challenge yet, his work promotion thing. So we have to keep that on top because Bill needs to have... He needs to be t uh, 10 in computing and in, in all the rest of it. Um, by the time he reaches a million as well, so the the several challenges are built into the one challenge. If that makes any sense to you, Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow I know. Oh, everything's going okay. So uh, yeah, you're in. I think you said you're in Sheffield, so that's not too long a journey. It's um, it's what an hour and a half up the road from where you are, maybe. Or if you drive fast, you can do it in an hour and a quarter. No, don't drive fast. Dewey, sorry. What are you sorry for, my friend? Nobody has to be sorry, that's for sure. Right. Bill, where are you going, bud? Computer. Well, you should. Except if you've gone on there to play a game... No. You're not going to be a troll, are you? Tell you what you could do, though, mate. You could... Uh, 
<laughs> you can program. <laughs> Game. Oh, practice your programming skills. I think that's what's required, isn't it? Right, yeah, you've got to practice the skills. And you have to get up fairly high. What is he at at the moment? Dear, oh dear, I'm so out of touch here. Guard oh, yeah, he's standing gardening. Do, 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 do. Drum roll. Right, he's heading towards level 3 in programming. He does have to get up to. Level 2 in a video gaming skill as well. Okay. Um, well, we'll cancel him doing that. We'll go back to okay, play game. Play Sims forever. Why not, indeed? There we go. Yay. Hack. Yay. I'm, I'm well, Dewey. It's about half an hour on the train. Yeah, okay. That's cool. You got any pets? Uh, you got four dogs. What Jack Russells? I have my two pets, which are guinea pigs. Two of them. Okay. Ah, uh, we got um, we've got two cats. We have two black and white cats. Uh, we have Corky, who's a grumpy old pussy cat. Takes very much like me. He's just grumpy and old, and he likes to sit around doing nothing all day. That's his joy. And we have uh, Nibbler, who's a kitten, and we call her kitten. Who's a f she cat? And uh, she is the most lovable little cat that you could ever come across. Because she'll jump up on you and rub her face at you and rub it into you and, and purr and do. And uh, if I'm lying in bed asleep, she'll jump up on my chest and start licking at my beard. And um, yeah, she's um, yeah, it's proper li proper little pet. She is. So that's it. We um, yeah, we we haven't got any others. That's it. So, but Jack Russell's, um, yeah, my, uh, my son's got a Jack, well, my son's girlfriend has got a Jack Russell, whose uh, name is Scooby-Doo, is that right, yeah, Scooby-Doo, and uh, lovely, little, lovely little dog, so it's Scooby-Dooby-Doo all the time, but it's Scooby-Doo, oh, he's somewhere else, you know, but he's got a bit of a temper with, uh, He's not good with kids, and he's also not good with other dogs. He, uh, <laughs> a story I heard last week, which um, the mental image of it is, is awesome, but uh, apparently Scooby went up to an Alsatian um, and started messing around the way he did, and uh, the Alsatian just locked his head in between his two teeth, and, uh, and poor little Scooby-Doo had a little blood hole um, both sides of his head. Um, so, uh, Rosie, Leo, Jess, and Bella. Oh, two guinea pigs. Holly and Molly. Oh, Holly and Molly, I like. That's nice for little pets, isn't it? Holly and Molly. Hello, Holly. Hello, Molly. Cool, Alexandra. <laughs> okay, not very cat-like, but sweet. Well, that's that's what it's about, isn't it? Hey. Um, they give the love and you take the love and, and hopefully in return for the love you give them food and, and, and stuff. Um, I'm not sure about the ragdoll type but uh, uh, certainly if you've got a pet then it's just uh, it's a it's a food and love exchange thing isn't it? You know certainly with cats. I mean cats are so independent anyway that um, you, you, a cat doesn't, you don't own a cat, the cat owns you um, uh, and there's no getting away from it. It's the way it is. Right, what's she griping about now? Well, she shouldn't be about anything. That's cool. Uh, that's cool. And Bill. Oh, he just needs a loo. Okay, where are you, Bill? Programming still. Use the loo when you like, mate. So, and Dewey's got three dogs. Yes. Uh, are they huskies? Did you say they were huskies, uh, Dewey? Oh, tea. My tea's going cold. Nearly forgot it again. Mm. Cold tea, yummy. We should make it hot for me sometime. <laughs> Put the stick down. Stick down time. One German Shepherd, one Husky, and one Golden Retriever. Okay, that's uh, that's a good old mix then, isn't it? Um, I bet I bet the Husky's a handful, yeah. With, with that environment, We've got German Shepherd. 
Um, they, they require a lot of exercise as well, although uh, they also require... Yeah, they require a lot of attention, I think. Well, I'm at my auntie's. Been sleeping, oh, sleeping over here the weekend. Going home tonight, my auntie had a cat, but she had to get her put to sleep due to being 22 years old. Oh, wow. And she couldn't walk on a bed. Oh, dear, that's so sad. But uh, I read the other day, I think somewhere on MSN, uh, there was an article about a 37-year-old uh, cat. And apparently he still likes to pretend it's a kitten, so... Uh, you start to get dog, dog sleep. Well, you've got the right animals, haven't you? You know, a, a German Shepherd will uh, pull its weight anyway. A Husky, obviously, they're uh, built for it. I don't know about the Retriever. I bet the Retriever wouldn't be too uh, too clever with uh, a team. I think they 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 like to they like to run it and sprint um, for for long long periods, don't they? I don't know. I mean, I'm not a dog, dog expert. I'm just going from. Uh, uh, my opinion of them. And just something Twiglet said just back there a bit. Alsatians and German Shepherds, they are different animals, aren't they? They're different breeds. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, just, just get off. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, I've missed the line. That you went on. Okay, epic studio. Yes, I built this house from scratch. Um, and it was very much from scratch. Um, we started off with Bill Gates, and when we put him on the lot, he we got rid of all his money. We used to cheat, dump his money. Um, so he had nothing at all. Um, he gathered in some plants from the local neighbourhood and did the uh, raids on one or two uh, frog boxes. And the little mines around, he hacked into them. Um, I don't know what they're called, but I'm sure you do, these things here. He would uh, chisel into them, and we sold whatever he got, which bought him a bed, which bought him a fridge, uh, a toilet, um, a shower eventually, and that's the way we built up. I mean, the first three days of his life, we, we would take him travelling and go to the gym and go to the uh, park and places like that to get a meal and to have a wash and, uh, and do his... Uh, latrine business so uh, it's been uh, yeah it, it's quite it's been quite a challenge we're actually starting to show the benefits now um, yeah starting to see the benefits from it in the bank anyway and as you can see Liberty here is going around doing another harvest we do this about every other day so whatever she's got in a basket now is uh, two days worth of growth in the garden so it's it's, it's doing very well um, uh, studio epic studio there uh, right <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know about sp uh, spiders I've never handled a big spider um, oh right okay countess oh, right okay uh, right, thanks Amelia, and we've said Epic Studio, been thinking about having, yeah, do that, um, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's a good, it's a good challenge, I, I enjoy it anyway, look, I'm going to play some three pets, hundred dog challenge, my dog challenge, three X, oh, great, yeah, I can see that now, okay, Amelia, did I miss that, must have missed it up, a bit up above, um, I will point out as well, because we've been talking medical issues and that sort of thing, that my eyesight, even through glasses, is quite bad, which is why I have to go down. I've got a very small monitor on the left of me, and uh, I still have to go down and squint at the writing. So if I do miss something that you say, then do just like Amelia has done there and sort of uh, put a few parentheses together and, uh, and, and sort of make it stand out a bit if you can. So uh, I don't mind that. As long as you're not using capitals all the time, which are just, you know, it's like shouting at me. I don't need shouting out. I'm not deaf. Well, <laughs> I am actually. But uh, not with the headphones on. I'm all right. I can hear what you're saying. Ah, she's not going to handle it, though. She says she's always wanted one. Yeah, that is a bit strange, isn't it? Um, yeah. Just going back a bit, uh, Twiglet, on, on Amelia there, she says she's doing this on Sims 3. Have you got Sims 4 yet, Amelia, or is that something you're sort of saving for for the future? Or maybe you just don't like the idea of it. I don't know. It's um, You've got to have that freedom of choices, certainly. 
but uh, I, I did like I did used to like Sims 3 I liked Sims 2 as well um, although I don't think we had all the uh, add-ons for Sims 2 we had most of them I think but not all of them but Sims 3 we sort of um, well my wife and my, my, my kids used to like doing that so uh, they, they would get all the Sims add-ons as such uh, Sims 4. Okay. I, I'm not sure what the uh, word is there, but my auntie put her. Uh, it looks like hash out in the garden, so we, I wonder if that's trash or whatever. So now we can go and paint to say hi to her. I got Sims 4. Okay, right. Hi to you. Yeah, yeah. Hello, uh, hello, auntie. How are you? And I, I would imagine that's trash. Uh, BDH 2015. Love to see play more adult people play. Greets from Holland. Uh, yes, wonderful stuff. Um, um, I think is a way of saying thank you very much. Uh, German Shepherd is correct. Oh, but the name Alsatian comes from the war. Yes, okay, thank you. I'm um, using Sims 3, but I want Sims 4. My laptop is in a gaming laptop, so I won't quite run on Sims. Uh, very well. Stick into that until you can afford a game. Wonderful, that that makes sense, um, Epic. Um, Sims 4 certainly is memory hungry. I mean, the more memory you can get in your new computer, um, it's not enough, you know? If you fill all the slots with um, however much, it's not enough because, you know, Sims 4 will gobble it up. Um, that we know for a fact, so uh, that's good. And thank you on the clarification with the uh, Alsatian. It, um, uh, it's, yeah, right, um, as I say, I'm not a dog expert, nor do I profess to be, in fact, uh, I know quite little about dogs, I see dogs, I have to go on the internet and Google them to say, what sort of small to middle dog, it looks like this, and try to describe it, and find out what it is that way, uh, I know it sounds very puerile to do that, but it's the way I manage it, you know, it's the way I can do it, um, Deutsche Schafferhund, yeah, Deutsche Schafferhund, yeah, of course, yes, right, sorry, didn't make the connection there, Dewey, but your, um, your partner is, um, he's a German, isn't he, from, did you say Dusseldorf, I'm, I'm not sure, I can't remember now, but anyway, yeah, I should have remembered that, uh, right, let's have a look, see how this garden is doing, um, this, um, I'm not going to do the calculator, I'll just keep a rough count in my head, I think. Right, so we have 800. We'll call that 900 with the residue that we had before. So that's 900. Uh, that's 2,200, we'll say, for argument's sake. 2,008, for arguments. 3006 3006 4 5007 5007 and oh we can say uh, 6000 6000 pound every other day from the or simoleons 6000 simoleons every other day from the garden that's not too bad at all is it eh even for uh, but Bill Gates is not doing too bad. Ah, right. Uh, Sims get kind of boring sometimes, but like me, like to chat on streams and play Sims, and chat. Uh, sort of requests I get are weird, but I roll with it and have fun. I, Epic Studio, that is all it's about, and is having fun. Um, I've been put on a few tight spots. Um, with trolls and that sort of thing which I didn't know how to handle because I'd not come across that kind of thing before but now I find that uh, you know I, I, I can cope a bit better with them uh, yeah I do have fun playing and the, I think the nice thing as well uh, Epic Studio is that when you're playing something like Sims um, as I do I, I, I'm not very ambidextrous or can't do two things at once so to speak 
Um, ambidextrous is the wrong word, isn't it? <laughs> think about it, Howard. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, I think with the Sims, I can I can walk away. I can I can have a cup of tea and I can go and get a drink and go to the loo, whatever. And you can just leave it running, and and they do look after themselves. So. Uh, yeah. Did the host work earlier? Um, yes. Yes, it did. Yes, it did, Dewey. Sorry. Um, I, I was just completely off track there with my thoughts, but yes, it did. Um, I think it brought along three three viewers, if if that's if I'm not mistaken. So uh, that's good. Yeah. So The Sims. It's one of those games where I mean. Um, what is it? In about ten or fifteen minutes time I'm gonna have a quick go. Um on Need for Speed, just to try my hand at it, just for maybe ten minutes, quarter of an hour, just to see how we can do on that. Um Absolutely, absolutely right. Um not sure where I stand on that list actually. I haven't uh, I haven't looked and nobody's told me today. So I'm gonna be nosy and just use another tab. And uh, go to my games. Do you like this new layout that they've got for this um uh the the Twitch control panel or side panel, I don't know what you'd call it. Gosh, look at that. Oh that's uh, that's done my uh, ego the world of good. But uh, yeah, uh <laughs> just going to play mine minecraft is another game um i would love to stream more minecraft um that is for sure and i think in the next week or so i'm going to dedicate maybe the wednesday I might do this wednesday or might be next wednesday uh to minecraft because there's so many things i'd love to do in minecraft it'll be building a railway or building some ships i've got some tall ships on my uh on my site with the uh, with the minecraft um Yes, yeah, so there's so much we can do. Sims is by far the most popular. Certainly, uh, I enjoy playing The Sims, and I enjoy listening to people's points of view and, and things, um, and, and certainly things that we have, like Dan Room there. You got a big bus simulator. Yeah, Dan. Uh, talking talking about people. I mean, how else would you get to know um, about other people's ways of life if, if you're not prepared to chat about it and talk about it and and I, I think it's awesome that people do confide in you these um, s little things, maybe little things to uh, to me, but the major things in people's lives. And, and it's brilliant that we can just sit and discuss them and uh, not discuss them and whatever. I, I think it's brilliant. So, uh, um, Creativeverse, it's like Minecraft, but way better. And it's a free download. Oh, uh, just let me let me grab my sheet of paper, and I shall write that on there, and I'll investigate that um, afterwards. I like the word you used in that sentence. Um, uh, how do you spell that now? F R E E download. That's the one. Yeah, and it's uh, create reverse. Okay, create reverse. Steam. We shall look into that. Absolutely right, we shall, because that's uh, that's another string to the bow, isn't it? You know, anything, any building game, I think, is popular. Um, yeah, Steam. I, I gathered that a bit. Um, yeah, I think any any building construction game is is good, um, as is the driving side of things as well. You know, drive. Um, I've I've got uh, oh, what is it, a lorry simulator or what? I can't remember what it's called truck simulator american truck simulator man if ever there was a boring game it's that one yeah. oh there was a train the train was worse oh no i'd forgotten about the train and now it's just been pushed back into my memory occupying unauthorized space um the train simulator um ah uh, yeah okay enough said then <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, dear, dear. Anyway, yeah, construction games I, I do like, um, and sort of destru destruction as well. Um, I like blowing things up. We, uh, there's a few times in uh, Minecraft where there's been a mountain in the way, 
and I get great pleasure and joy out of planting dynamite throughout the, the mountain and uh, yeah just get a little bit of redstone to it and <laughs> yeah and watch this mountain disintegrate into absolutely nothing at all it's wicked it is really wicked um, I am gonna have to go and get myself another drink because my tea's gone cold uh, it's probably given to me stone cold anyway but I'm gonna go and get myself a drink which will only take about maybe a minute a whole minute so if you have some topics of conversation we can pursue then line them up for me for when I come back in well 50 seconds now isn't it <laughs> back in a sec So we could say. We can. Hope so. I shall announce that to the world before you join us. Oh, be a millionaire soon. No, I won't. I won't. I won't tell everybody. But it's good news nonetheless. Uh, always nice to blow up stuff. Yeah, it is. It's um. Yeah. The thing is, it's <laughs> it's so good. You just keep doing it, don't you? You know, uh, what was a mountain is now the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, you like burning things up? You, you would like unturned. Um, I'm PV server for unturned. I have fun every night on that game. It's another oh. game where you should have to have a go at. Yeah. Uh, I stream that game as well, um, and it's called Unturned. I'll, I shall add to my list then, because I've not heard of that one. I've heard of uh, Creative Verse, although. Um, I thought it was one of these expensive games. Well, the sound, the, the description of it, I thought it was expensive. But, uh, hey, you know, the word free caught my eye there. Uh, unturned. U-N-T-U-R-N-E-D. I'll have a look at that. Because I have my own Minecraft server. Uh, well, we have two, really. Um, I have my computer here, which I run a server off. Um and also have a, a separate computer that we fire up sometimes to the family to get together and play um, play Minecraft on that. Um, I've got a son who uh, lives in Poole in Dorset and another one that lives uh, about five miles up the road and we all sort of get together occasionally and have a crack at that. So that's good fun. It's um, You can never be sure what somebody else is doing uh, and uh, one, of my, one of my sons um, I built a, a railway an underground railway from uh, my wife's castle to their to their bit of property whatever they built and uh, and then on into the core whatever it is called um, yeah you need the fancy stone to get there whatever but um, I forget the terminology I'm afraid that's um, uh, that's uh, another thing so Amelia who are you addressing what's the IP to uh, probably be to Epic because he's just mentioned he's got the server on it. So uh, there we go. How much is Minecraft? And I will run it. Uh, I do believe it will run on Apple. Um, but if you type in Minecraft um, into Google or the appropriate one on uh, Apple, 
Um, I think it's still Google anyway, but if you type in uh, Minecraft, it'll take you to the server, and I think there's uh, a download for it. Um, there is lots and lots and lots of videos on YouTube if you're not sure how to play it and you want to know how to do certain things. That's where I'm sort of, uh, I go to every now and again just to uh, to learn a bit more. My sons know a heck of a lot more um, than I do. And how much is it? Uh, certainly for the Windows version it's about 11.95 or somewhere around that. Um, UK pounds that is which would be about uh, fourteen ninety nine dollars in America and that sort of thing so you can work it out but um, right it's uh, if it is for me let me know and I will post the address for you, you can always uh, um, Amelia if you, if you want to know that server address I'm assuming of course you're talking to Epic Studio if you click on his name and uh, you'll get you'll be able to whisper him uh, your details and then he'll send the details on to you via a whisper or via your website or email address um, yeah so that's um, that would be brilliant you know it's, this is what it's about isn't it sharing stuff like that um, I, I don't post my IP address for the Minecraft server because it we may play it once this month and it, you'd not be able to say um, you'd not be able to say when it would be so it, you know uh, and not only that because uh, because I work the way I do our um, the IP address is quite frequently changed to one or another or because we've got two different uh, servers running so uh, Zel, uh, Zelda's twin thank you very much for hosting me that's awfully kind of you and uh, let's hope we can pull in millions more mi mi millions more people um, to join us on the Sims, and the only thing we're not doing here on the Sims today is playing Sims. Um, we've had such an interesting conversation this afternoon with uh, one thing and another between people. Uh, it has been awesome, um, and I mean that sincerely. Uh, Bill, where are you, Bill? Bill, Bill, come to me, Bill. Oh, there you are, walking in the trees. You've got a project for work to do, and what are you doing? Nothing. Come on, man. When are you back to work? Two days. Well, you can spend half the night programming, please. Or better still, go for a hack. Somebody suggested hack to me. Uh, that's a good way of learning the, learning programming, I guess. Right. He doesn't look as though he's happy doing his job, does he? He's tired, that's why. Well, he'll have to spend a little bit of time at the computer. Takes drink before he forgets and goes warm. <laughs> well, as I say, uh, Dan Room, it's, um, it, it's, um, yeah, it's not the easiest thing to do because um, I, I can never guarantee that I'm going to be there or the server's going to be up and running. Um, I mean, certainly when uh, I do play Minecraft if you're around and I'm play, playing it on my server then I'll, uh, I'll gladly uh, send you some details about it um, don't mind that at all um, and anyone else who wants I mean you can have up to six or eight people I think on the server and uh, if they request it while I'm playing it I can uh, I'll get the int I can find the IP address of the day and get that to you and, uh, and give you authorizations and that sort of thing so it's so uh, it's well well um, well protected, I believe. <laughs> well, after lurking from pretty much the whole stream, I'll be off now and head to the pool. <laughs> Enjoy your swim, uh, Mimo. I hope um, I hope it's um, I hope it's refreshing and just what you need. But thanks for being with us, albeit lurking in the background. Um, awesome stuff. Catch you next time. And we did say we'd make you a, a character as well, didn't we? We must do that. Uh, in fact, we did say that for Donut as well, but I guess he's fast asleep now. Yep, there we go. So let me look at my little uh, list and see what we've got to cover, if anything. Um, Dyer951, uh, welcome to the uh, chat. I hope you can uh, you feel free enough to just join in if you wish. Um, World Palooka, welcome. And uh, PJ Sarah, welcome. Um, join into the chat if you wish. 
Um, the only the only thing is you do need to have a verified email address to join in the chat. And if you're not sure whether you have a verified email address, then just try chatting. And ah. if you have, you can chat. And if you haven't, you can't. Uh, until you get it verified, that is. So that's really, really, really... No need to agree with that guy. Okay. Uh, bless you for that. Um, yeah, we, we've got one of Donut to make. And he did send me a photograph now. So I have... Uh, I can carry on with that and one of the streams. Right, how are we doing for time? Right, we can take a little break and I'm going to see if I can get... Um, if I could be doing that while we're... Uh, right, there's a need for speed most wanted, um, which I think it's just killed the screen, I'm not sure. Hi, I'm Josie Marin and I play... set up just for uh, it is set up just for uh, uh, no I need to set up some sort of uh, screen for it I think but I can't did it did you patience patience boy there we go right Sims 4 trust video capture device. No, I'm going to have to. Right, I can't do that now because it needs um, sorting out another way. So I thought we'd been able to stream that. But apparently we can't because it only blacks the screen, we don't get the full image. Um, I'd have to play around with that. Never mind, but there's next time, isn't there? So anybody who just got really excited there. Um, I'm sorry, that's, um, what more can I say? But I did it, put it back. We'll return to The Sims. I will sort it for next time. Um, and we can, uh, we can play Need for Speed. Give me a chance to practice as well. Uh, just to make sure I can remember how to do it. Especially the corners and them cops. They don't have to get on your nerves, you know, trying to push you off the road all the time. Uh, but the, the version I've got is Need for Speed Most Wanted, which is not the latest version. The latest follow, uh, version was 2014 Need for Speed Most Wanted. Um, well, sadly on that one, I'm not so clever with the controls. Um, call it an age thing if you want. Um, okay, thank you very much, Epic Studio. Uh, awesome stuff and thanks for joining in the chat this afternoon and certainly thanks for those um, those hints and tips you gave me about the other games we'll certainly will look into them as soon as I finish today um, I have a stream a steam account a stream account I've got a steam account as well um, so we can uh, we can get in there and get that sorted hopefully but uh, yeah in uh, enjoy work if that's possible yeah most people do actually say, oh, I don't like work, I hate going to work, but people enjoy going to work, so it's cool. Yeah. So, right, that's um, that's taken the wind out of my sails just the tiniest little bit, because I thought we'd be playing racing cars about now. Oh, never mind. Let's see what people are doing. Sleeping, sleeping. <laughs> Fine. Where are you, little fella? He's having his breakfast or something. Let's hurry time along. See if we can get somebody up out of bed to do some gardening because that's what it's about. Yeah, little chap having a bath. I don't know if these couple have fallen out or what. Maybe. Oh, I wonder if it's because I've moved the bedroom and the other one can't get in there. I bet you that's what it is. Oh, what a plonker. That's what it'll be. Ah, never mind. Right, Bill, where are you, my friend? Sleep. Oh, so she gets up. Come on. Some matter with you people. Sleep. 
take a little slow time as well, because the night time will be gone. And poor Bill, he needs to sleep, doesn't he? Hey? Just see him get him to bed, then I'll be happy. And then I'll get uh, Liberty up. She doesn't need sleep, she needs food. And I think Little One's probably... Does he need food? No, he looks after himself, he's very good. Oh, you didn't even take your clothes off for bed, you... Mm -hmm. There we go. Right, clean up. I did notice last time Bill was uh, doing the housework in here. He was certainly scrubbing down the cooker and uh, washing the sideboards. Um, seems helpful little Ben. And we haven't put that other... Uh, we haven't put that other uh, bin in the kitchen yet. Oh, Let's do some modernisation. Not so much modernisation, but extending little things. Uh, don't need to extend that uh, bathroom. There we go. Right. Um, oh. Not so right. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Right, we'll just move that up there. bin that everybody kept shouting at me to get. That's the baby. There we go. Smash it. Right. Start earning money off the rubbish now, I'm told. You've got to brush the guinea pigs when you get home tonight, so it's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. Especially, do they get excited? I don't know if guinea pigs are excited by that sort of thing, but uh, yeah, if you've left them a few days um, without being brushed, then uh, it can either be exciting for them or a nightmare for them. It depends how they take to it. But uh, good luck with that anyway, uh, Dan. It's certainly good. Who else have we got online? Anybody I can talk to? Anybody who's got anything to tell us? Daya951 and PJ Sarah and Will, Will, Pecula, Will Pecula. Welcome to the stream and, and do feel free to uh, chat if you want to. It's uh, um, You don't have to be a follower to uh, chat. Uh, we have a problem with the cooker. <laughs> and little Ben there is relishing in that. He says, oh, look, we can set fire to my doll's head or my toy. Reach creative <laughs> little fire. Oh, that's pretty good, Ben. Still getting behind it, I'm sure. Wouldn't it be awesome if that happened? Eh? You just one day stood in the kitchen, minded your own business, doing what you needed to do, and then suddenly the room suddenly got bigger, and the chairs and tables slid across the room to the other side. Um, yep, there would be vast amounts of clearing up needed, especially in the trouser department, that is for sure. Right, watch this one. Ten simoleons for that little lot. That's quite awesome, isn't it, eh? We can make money out of trash. How wicked. Right, I want one. Not out of our local council, you won't, mate, I tell you. They're after every penny they can get at the moment. What's this? Somebody said Alexandra. Is it Alexandra? That's why <laughs> I rent the small flat. I'm waiting <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. That is, um, <coughs> yeah. We, we we all sit back and hope, don't we? Uh, keep pushing the walls every day. Just give them a quick nudge. Is it is it loose enough? Will it go another three foot that way? Um, I'm, I'm, I guess we're quite lucky that uh, the house we live in is um, it, it is 
there's a lot of space in it although there's um, it's an old um, 1895 build house and there's very few cupboards in it not natural cupboards anyway so it's a matter of making cupboards where you have the space to do that and I think we filled every corner of every room in the house but uh, as the kids have left home of course they uh, gone to do their own thing then uh, room has become available for us to put more stuff in and we tend to, to hoard little bits and pieces you know because they'll be handy they keep that because you might never know might need that and uh, there is a lot of stuff which uh, we're waiting for it to be used I'm sure every house is the same anyway um, no, they make a lot of noise that surprises me Dan um, I've never heard a, a guinea pig say anything my uh, my my son one of my sons had a, a hamster um, that he kept in his room and uh, he forgot to feed it one morning or something out of the ordinary happened I think he was late getting up and forgot to give him a food um, when he came in from school the uh, hamsters had uh, just nibbled the way through a curtain they'd pulled the curtain into the into their nest or into their cage through the bars and just eaten a big hole into it um, I didn't realize they were quite fastidious as they were but certainly uh, yet opened up a brand new hole in the curtain um, it, needless to say the uh, <laughs> had to find a new home for the said hamster so uh, right that will need watering anytime you're ready where's Bill now Bill what are you doing Bill Ah, oh, you're hungry. Come get some food then, bud. There's some chips and salsa there. Mm, they might be nice. How typically male that would be, isn't it? The wife makes all this food and sets it out for her breakfast. She goes out to water a plant and in comes Dad, effectively, sits down. Th oh, that looks nice. And away it goes. That's and she's gone back to eat it. Excuse me, that's my breakfast. Oh no, she's not. Oh bless her. So I'm gonna play on your computer then. Okay. Good on you, Bill. You're not full though, are you, mate? You still got some room in there for something else. What? There's nothing in there. I thought we'd left some bits in there. Oh, he's sorting it himself. Why should? Why should I interfere? Okay, I must have clicked off map or something, I think. Oh well, happy is the man who does a bit of jogging just before breakfast, whether he needs it or not. Prince, oh, Princess Jess. Princess Jess, your tea's gone cold, what a surprise, so did mine. Um, welcome to the stream, Princess Jess, if you... Uh, if you feel you want to bring up an item in conversation, then please just join in the chat. Treat it like you just come home and you want to talk to everybody. Um, right, come on, Liberty Lee, get some spray on these. Um, get some spray on the plants. He's gone cold. Right, read that bit. Ah, right. Bill has got this uh, project to do when he's finished eating. That is. He's got a project to do for work, so he does need to get on top of that. Uh, he needs to uh, achieve level 2 in video gaming, that shouldn't be too difficult, and then achieve level 3 programming skill. Now, his progress on both of these have been dragging on for days and days and days, because it seems he's just... He's just forgetful, forgets what he's doing. There we go. So, uh, Princess Jess. Where am I from? Sorry, I, I, I didn't read that. It's in, it's in the pink writing, which is not very uh, clear on here. Where are you from? We're from uh, Lincolnshire in the United Kingdom, Princess Jess. Or I'll abbreviate that if you don't mind, just to Jess, because it makes it easier to say. Uh, we're from Lincolnshire in the United Kingdom, which is on the east coast. 
uh, near the North Sea. In fact, we're about 200 yards from the North Sea um, as the crow flies. Uh, so, yeah, we've um, very, very lucky that we can go for a short walk and be on the beach and uh, look at the sand. We have a, uh, a blue flag beach at the end of our road, um, which is quite awesome, really, because... Uh, you know, when grandkids come and want to play, we just say, right, up the road you go, onto the beach. They have fun building sandcastles, and we have fun watching them, I suppose. Um, so there we are, yeah. So, Lincolnshire, United Kingdom. And what about yourself, Princess Jess? Oh, Jess, uh, where are you from? The interesting stuff. And just for any newcomers that happened along... We have Bill Gates, young Bill here, lost his fortune, poor chap, and we gave him this lot, and he started off with no money at all, and we've raised him up now to have this beautiful house, uh, beautiful gardens, a wishing well, which is a recent acquisition. Uh, he's also got a lovely wife in Liberty Lee, Liberty Lee Gates here, who um, is his wife. They have the son, Ben who's following in father's footsteps trying to become an entrepreneur millionaire he thinks uh, but he just does enjoy watching telly as well um, so there we go that's the, the family it's only a small family um, and poor Benny got this memory problem he forgets to do his homework quite regularly um, right so we could really do with um, Liberty coming around and doing some, uh, not just water in the gardens, but uh, actually getting around and getting these uh, harvesting done. Oh, long person. That's the reason I can't click on it. Harvest everything. Come on, girl. Let's see how much money we can get today. We tend to get in the region of about six or 7,000 um, simoleons a day from this garden. It's not particularly big, but uh, we, do tend, we do tend to get a decent amount from it. Um, all of these plants certainly that we have in the garden are collected from like this one which are available in the wild um, the uh, the glowing trees they're glow fruit trees they uh, were an overflow from when we had the uh, the challenge the Easter egg challenge that was around uh, I believe they came from there um, which is roughly when we started as well so there we are that's pretty much up to date uh, Liberty is a uh, level 10 gardener. She's level 10 in quite a few things actually, to give her a, a due. Uh, level 10 in cooking, she's level 8 in charisma, uh, 7 in charisma, sorry. Level, is that 8 or a 5? That's level 5 in comedy. So let's go through the list again. Mixology she hasn't done much with. Piano she hasn't got one at the moment. Um, so charisma 7, comedy's 5, cooking 10. Fishing 2, fitness is 7, because she does like going on her treadmill. Uh, gourmet cooking and guitar are both pretty much low down, but handiness is coming up at 5. Mischief maker, hmm, wonder where she got that from, I don't know, but uh, she does keep busy being a little mischief occasionally, which uh, she hasn't done for a while, so... Did he, did, he, did he become partners in crime? I don't think so. We missed you. Let's see what we can do. Uh, dare to streak? No. Uh, maybe she will, maybe she won't. Mind you, it's going to be a while before that comes around because she's got to... Uh, uh, she's got to get the garden done. I'll tell you what we will do, and I did promise to do it earlier on and forgot. We're going to get Bill to chuck a coin in the wishing well. And what will we wish for this time? Wish for a promotion. That would be pretty good if he could get that. How much is it going to cost him? 316 is the... Roshun! <laughs> Oh, it's just a sim. One simoleon. Oh, right. 
Let's see what happens here. Ooh. Hello, Bill. This is your workplace calling with some wonderful news. Everybody here has been impressed with your work ethic, and we're pleased to give you this bonus. We really want to promote you, but due to the budgetary restriction, ongoing headcount limitations, it simply wasn't possible. Hang in there. I'm sure will take care of you uh, in the next review period. Oh, in other words, another waste of a simoleon. Dear, 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 never mind. What about young, young Ben? Can he have a wish too? He can wish for better grades. Go for it, Ben. See what he gets. <laughs> yeah. By working hard, you will achieve better grades. Your wish is granted. Yeah. Another sim goes up. And here comes this, the little... Oh, what's this now? Hi, Ben. This is your teacher calling. There has been a miraculous, almost unbelievable improvement in your recent test scores. As noted, uh, the school's handbook through 50% um, of your final grade is based upon completion of homework. I can't increase your grade any further until I've seen more assignments turned in. In other words, that was another waste of a simoleon because you're not getting your wish either. Ah, dear. Whose idea was it to put this uh, wishing well here? It's absolutely cost us money now. I tell you what we can do. We can get uh, liberty to go and wish for a vast amount of fortune now. Again. And s might backfire on her this time. I don't know. I haven't played I haven't played much with the wishing well at all. Um, the uh, permission to just move on. Oh right, I forgot about that. She can do some. She can do some harvesting first. That's wicked. And tea's gone cold. Read that one. Right. So uh, let's see what we've got here to admit. We've got Wolpukula. Wolpukula. Um, right. I think everybody's sort of spoken now. How's it going? It's, uh, we're down to about eight followers or eight viewers at the moment. Uh, Bitch is awesome anyway. Don't mind. Uh, so we will be we'll be packing it in very shortly. Snapdragons. Let's see how much we get for them. Eight hundred simoleons. That's not bad. Not too bad at all. The cr grow fruits. Never much money off them. Get rid of this junk out of here. Right, so everything in the garden, as they say, is quite rosy. So I think I'm just going to let her uh, finish harvesting the garden, which shouldn't take her too long. And then we'll uh, we'll call it a day for today. I think it's uh, very close to my finishing time anyway. Um, thanks everybody for their uh, their input to the uh, program during the course of today. Um, been absolutely awesome, and um, especially as well people like Alexandra and uh, Dan. Um, sorry. Oh. And uh, yeah, everybody, Epic Studio and uh, Mimo and Twiglet and everybody who's a constant uh, source of uh, fun for me as well during the course of a stream. Uh, I will be back on. Uh, uh, I'm not on tomorrow at all, Dan. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it's my sort of day off uh, on a Tuesday because I uh, have other things to do. I'm chairman of a computer user group here in Lincolnshire, where in the village in Lincolnshire where I am. And tomorrow, Tuesdays, is, uh, is pretty much a full day of committee meetings and plannings and uh, putting together uh, demonstrations and, and computer ideas for a whole bunch of senior citizens. So uh, I can't do streaming on a Tuesday at the moment anyway. Um, but I will be back Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, round about two o'clock, uh, the British summer time, or British standard time, as they do insist on calling it. 
Um, so I'll be back on Wednesday. And probably playing The Sims as like as not, unless I can get Need for Speed sorted. So I've got a, a tab for it. We can uh, sit and watch Need for Speed. And uh, yeah, that would be a cool thing to do. Um, but there is uh, a lot of other games. Um, Epic Studio has given me several games I can go and have a, uh, a look at. So uh, that would be really cool. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Alexandra. It's. Uh, kind of you. Um, I'm sure we will. Um, the only problem is when I've been streaming all day and I don't know whether it's common amongst all streamers that uh, my voice gets very very tired and I think yeah, uh, I'm never going to survive this but uh, yeah it's still fun anyway and uh, will I stop doing it because of that reason? I doubt it very much. Right there we are I think that's pretty much everything roped in. Um, Poor girl, I thought I saw green steam coming off her a while back. Um, let's have a look. Oh, she's just hungry. Oh, she's dirty and hungry. Wicked. So, with that, I am going to save the game. Bump. Seemed like a good place to save it. Uh, save and go to manage worlds. And there we are. So, thank you very much, everybody, for your company this afternoon. And... Um, and thank you for all the new follows I've had this afternoon. It's uh, it's awesome. And we will be back on Wednesday for sure. And hopefully either playing The Sims, maybe Minecraft, or maybe just uh, Need for Speed, or maybe one of the other games that um, I might be able to download. Um, what more can I say? Have a good day yourselves. And uh, again, thank you for joining me.